हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू रीड द लेसन प्लांट्स प्रिपेयरिंग एंड स्टोरिंग फूड एंड बाय रीडिंग दिस लेसन माय एम इज टू रिवाइज दिस चैप्टर फॉर यू सो दैट यू वुड हैव अ बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ द लेसन सो लेट अस स्टार्ट रीडिंग द लेसन हाउ ग्रीन एंड ब्यूटिफुल इज दिस ट्री कैन यू सी दिस ट्री दे आर टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस ट्री How green and beautiful is this tree? It is full of green leaves. Why are leaves green? Why do most plants and trees have green leaves? The presence of a substance called chlorophyll makes a leaf green. Only green leaves can make food for the plant since they contain chlorophyll. Green leaves need air, water and sunlight to prepare food. so this is a diagram of green leaves where green leaves need water carbon dioxide and sunlight to prepare food and this is a magnified image of the leaf where you will find a tiny pores called as stomata this can be seen under microscope if you can see it here then the next topic is food for plants a plant takes in water from the soil and carbon dioxide from the air in the presence of sunlight green leaves change air and water into food in the form of starch sunlight provides energy to this leaves for preparing food hence water carbon dioxide chlorophyll and sunlight are needed by leaves to prepare food so here they are talking about how green leaves make use of water carbon dioxide chlorophyll and sunlight to prepare their food and they store it in the form of starch so this process is called as photosynthesis what is photo photo means light and synthesis means putting together since sunlight is required to put water and carbon dioxide together as food this process is called as photosynthesis The next part is parts of leaf. Take a people leaf. Observe the lower surface of the leaf. You will see a main vein running along the center of the leaf. It has number of side veins. The main vein is called as a midrib. It is formed by a double pipeline of a cell. One pipeline carries water and minerals to all the cells of the leaf. The other carries prepared food from the green cell to other parts of the plant on the other side of the leaf are the tiny pores called stomata the singular form of stomata is stoma during photosynthesis a leaf takes in carbon dioxide and gives out oxygen and water vapor through stomata so here they are talking about parts of the leaf a uh, leaf has a middle main vein called as a midrib and then there are side veins also what is the purpose of the vein the purpose of the vein is to carry water and minerals to all the cells of the leaf then on the leaf there are tiny pores also these are called as stomata what is the function of stomata the carbon dioxide uh, is given uh, is taken in and oxygen and water vapor are given out through this tiny pore so they act like a nodes so these are the few pictures of the food that we all know that we have already seen in our lifetime so this is a mango everyone has seen mango fruit this is a spinach everybody eats the vegetables then peas carrots and sugarcane students plants store their food in either in the form of uh, a fruit it can be stored in the fruit it can be in the leaf it can be in the seeds also it can be in the root and it can also be in the stem so any part of the plant you take plants can prepare they can store their food in that part so food is stored in the fruit leaves seed roots and stems of the plant now here there are new words that are given this is a photosynthesis which we have already seen the process of preparation of food by green leaves is called as a is called as photosynthesis so this process of preparing food 
by green leaves of plant is called as a photosynthesis then what is stomata stomata are the openings on the underside of the leaf what is the function of stomata it is a respiratory organ for a leaf it takes in carbon dioxide and gives out oxygen and water vapor these are few unusual plants if you can see it here this is a cactus this is a mouse mushrooms croton croton is also a type of plant but it has a non green leaves they are red in color students these mouse and mushrooms are actually not the plants they come in fungi but here they have seen and they have called it as plants but they come under a separate group called as fungi or you can also say fungi the next is how do plants use their food the food prepared by the plant is in the form of simple sugar it is used in number of ways by the plant it is used to get energy some of it is used for growth extra food is stored in the form of starch in leaves stem and roots we eat that part of the plant which has food stored in it so wherever in whichever part the plant stores its food we can also have it to get the energy there are few uh, questions given over here photosynthesis takes place in leaf flower root where does photosynthesis takes place it takes place in a leaf then main vein leaf stem is formed by a double pipeline of a cell what is that main leaf right the main vein is a correct answer then plant prepare food in the form of simple sugar or salt the answer is obviously simple sugar the next part is some unusual plants students we are going to stop here at this topic okay and next time we will be again continuing with the lesson so this is last topic for this session some plants like cactus do not have leaves right you all have seen cactus uh, in most of the regions we have cactus and you will not find any leaf on that where then the food is made it is made in their green stems the mounds and the mushrooms are the non green plants they do not have any chlorophyll they cannot make their food they get their food from the dead and the decaying plants and animals so these are some unusual plants okay but uh, actually scientifically they come under a separate group called as fungi the leaves of some plants like croton have a chlorophyll but they appear dark red okay the example is croton where there is a chlorophyll in the leaf but they appear red why because this red pigment is very dominant in nature so the reason is this is because of the presence of a red substance that hides the green chlorophyll now the question is does photosynthesis takes place in such leaf the answer is yes it does because chlorophyll is present only the thing is we cannot see it so students that was all for today i hope you understood what i tried to read for you okay so this was a reading session for the lesson plants preparing and storing food but the story is not yet over we are still left with some topics which i am going to read for you in the next session so until then take care bye bye